These men and women have chosen the LAPD, including 25-year-old Diana Rodarte. Did you ever reconsider becoming a member of law enforcement? Not once. I'm the guy that's going to hire you. Is that important? Yes, sir. He is the decision maker, Captain Aaron McRaney. This is the recruitment section. Our NBC4 camera, the first allowed behind the scenes of the LAPD recruitment and employment division. The process is lengthy. Yes. yes. And it ain't easy. Correct. It is far more difficult than anyone could ever imagine. <laughs> The past 12 months have left many people and politicians questioning not just police tactics, but the need for law enforcement nationwide and right here in Los Angeles. Sometimes people are discouraged from becoming police officers. The morale's been tough. I mean, there have been uh, a lot of law enforcement uh, should change. Uh, there are some that really feel that law enforcement should go away and I, to them I ask what is the alternative but according to Captain McRaney I can hire 130 right now LAPD recruitment has not suffered I can tell you that you know there has not been a lack of interest the police academy is waiting for those who make it through seven steps this officer here right now is having a discussion with a candidate on what he or she can do to advance through the process. The process, ideally completed in 90 days, includes a written test, personal history statement, interview, policy, psychological exam. I always say that we know more about people than many times than what their spouses do, what their parents do, what their best friends know, because you pretty much, in order to be a police officer, everything needs to be revealed. If this process is so thorough, how do some who've been selected to uphold the law end up breaking it? Is it something that we may? Usually it's not. You may have someone who goes astray. You have someone who makes mistakes. You may have make someone who intentionally does wrong. The LAPD may not be lacking in candidates. We hire roughly three out of 100 applicants on this department. Yet is striving to find specific candidates. With 9,300 officers on the force, this is the current main. 50% Latino, 29% white, 9% black, followed by Asian Pacific Islanders. We logged on to a virtual hiring seminar geared toward Asian Americans. There were well over 200 participants. We would like to hire a class of 40% women. We like to hire a class of 22% African American. We like to hire a class of 10% Asian American, Pacific Islanders. So for our diversity goals, that's where my targets are set. Goals that may be challenging. Being a black man and being a police officer, it, it's rough. We sat down with Sergeant Lewis Lavender, a 15-year veteran of the LAPD. There's difficulties for me being a black man and being a police officer. What are those difficulties for you? When you see people that do, um, refer to you as Uncle Tom or, or all these other names, um, I wouldn't even say it's hurtful. It's just, it's more of like, you just wish you could like have a, a sit down conversation with them. However, Sergeant Lavender isn't going. Looks like the community and that should be everyone's goal. If you really believe that, you know, things should be different, that the way to make that happen is from the inside. Who here is ready to become a Los Angeles police officer tomorrow? What does the badge mean to Diana? Being from a minority, people can identify themselves more with me. Every time we would meet that, this would lighten up, you know, so I always remember that and I want to see those type of smiles. Robert Kovacic, NBC4 News.